Digital intelligence isn't just used for making some fun digital art or shortcut to homework anymore. Our Sophia Thomas joins us live in the newsroom to explain how electric utilities are using artificial intelligence to keep your rates low and the power flowing. Sophia, what can you tell us? Alyssa and John, drivers waking up this morning to charged electric vehicles don't really have to think about much except plugging in the night before. But there's a whole process behind the scenes ensuring you can hit the road and at a fair rate. Before AI entered the scene, Vermont Electric Co-op worried that a few too many customers plugged in could overwhelm transformers. It's caused transformers to overload. It's caused smoking on a transformer. But cut to today, and VEC innovation and tech leader Cyril Brunner says AI prevents transformer overload for them. As the grid becomes more complex with additional renewables and electric vehicles, we're trying to go from being reactive to proactive, and AI really helps us make that happen. VEC partners with grid management company Camu Energy to monitor energy use. On their software platform, Brunner can track customers with EVs and even stagger which cars are charging at once. That helps him anticipate and prevent overload. This is a tool that we use to identify where detected electric vehicles are on the system. Utilities across the state are leaning more and more into AI as ownership of technology like EVs EVs and home batteries expands. It helps them avoid grid upgrades and bringing fossil fuels onto the grid at peak. Ultimately, Camu CEO Astrid Atkinson says that keeps costs low for customers. In order to tackle load growth in a way that doesn't like just blow up people's bills, um, utilities really need to start looking at technology applications that increases how efficient the grid is. While VEC monitors AI software daily to create the best customer experience, most customers are unaware of all the work it takes to get there. But Brunner says that's just the way VEC wants it. As long as their electric vehicle is charged in the morning, as long as their battery is charged after we call an event, they are happy. And I think by and large, they don't notice that this is happening. Looking at the big picture, VEC says AI will be critical in helping them meet their goal of being 100% renewable by 2030. Live in Newsroom, Sophia Thomas, Channel 3 This Morning.